All right, all right, not too, uh, not too dirty. All right, so I wonder, no, maybe you guys wonder, but I'm sure you guys are wondering what the heck, like what have I been doing, where have I been, so that, because I haven't really been posting as much content, so I got a lot of like really cool and mostly just cool stuff to tell you guys about, but not like 100% tell you, just kind of tell you. So for starters, I have a lot that's gonna be going on in my life right now, and this is like the time where everything's just starting to fall into place. So at the beginning of the year, I had a company reach out to me basically about making YouTube videos with them, and I decided to agree to it, so basically I'm gonna be making YouTube videos with a company that I'm actually really stoked to work with. It's just that I don't wanna say anything just yet about what company because I don't know if you guys are like me and there's just like this weird thing where I feel like whenever I mention stuff and get excited about it, sometimes like it just falls apart and then I'm just like, oops. Sorry, the downside of using window lighting for your main source of light. Maybe, wait, maybe, maybe. Maybe, I think, okay, all right, I think, I think we're good now. But does anyone ever feel like whenever you have something exciting going on or something really cool is gonna happen, like you're worried about like talking about it too much because it's just like so precious and so cool that if you do talk about it too much, it's just gonna like disappear. That's kind of how I feel. <laughs> I know it's weird. I know I should like get out of that habit, but like I try not to allow myself to get too worked up about things because I just don't want to be disappointed if they fall through, but it is pretty official, but I'm still just waiting for the first project to come out so you guys can see who it's with and I'm working with, but really awesome. I'm super excited to be working with this company and this is actually allowing me to potentially do some pretty awesome stuff in the future with my career. Yeah, basically, I guess I'm trying to explain like why I haven't been putting out as much content and also to just bear with me that I will try and get back to a better rhythm. It's just that these first couple weeks or these first couple projects are gonna be kind of hard for anyone that hasn't worked with a client yet, right? So if you're working with a client and especially in this kind of form factor where I'm creating YouTube videos for them, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth in the beginning because you are now taking one creative style and trying to mix it with a vision that they have of what creative style they want and then you're trying to push that together, right? So it's really gonna be obviously a combination of both kind of creative styles coming together and then making what their vision and what my vision is of content. So still a lot of kings to work out and just anytime that you do work with a client, this generally happens, especially when they want you to make videos and stuff like that, so. But it is what it is. I'm still really excited for it and I know this is gonna just like the, the starting out phase, but I'm really, really hyped to get into it and get a good workflow with them. So so for a little bit, I'm probably not gonna be able to make as much content as I normally do, so just bear with me, but I will get back to it once we get things ironed out. Another big thing that's happening for me is that I'm actually getting a roommate. Yep, I'm getting a roommate. I've lived in this house by myself for a really long time. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird getting a roommate, but I think it's gonna be awesome because A, it is nice having people live with you. I've had a friend that like stayed with me for like a week or two just for like some certain life circumstances and it was kind of nice having someone around and I kind of was getting used to it and then I was like a little sad when they left. So A, I think it's gonna be cool just to have a roommate and just have someone else that's in the home. Two, it's also gonna help me out with financial stuff a lot just because one of the biggest things I think people don't think of whenever they are trying to become like a full-time creator or if you wanna make a jump from basically working for a company to working for yourself, like the way that I'm trying to, people don't think of like what your budget is, right? Like how can you get that? Everyone thinks of like, how can I make more money and sustain the lifestyle I have now? Well, personally, I was thinking, well, what if I could just cut all my bills in half for the time being, right? And then that would make it more of a safe jump to be able to go either like drop down part-time at work or even just like leave my job and then be able to do this full-time instead. Personally, that's kind of why I'm getting a roommate. And um, yeah, luckily it's someone that I do trust and I do know it pretty well, just because I didn't want to have to like go on like some like website and like see if someone wanted to be a roommate. Just, I don't know. I feel like that would just be really hard to do, especially knowing everything that I have in my room as far as equipment and just letting them in your home is just weird. Like you're just thinking about the way that things are gonna change. I know it's for the better and I know it's for a good reason, but just like, I still kinda, I don't know. It's still just kinda like weird to me, but yeah. So getting that ready and like prepping the room in the area and stuff too, just cause I was using it for storage. So I wanted to like get it cleaned up. And there's also this weird stuff that's like a popcorn ceiling where like it was razor sharp to the point where I'm pretty sure like the marks that are on my hand there, you can't really see them, but basically 
Anytime you scratch those things, if they do it the wrong way, which these people did it the wrong way originally when they built the house, like it was razor sharp. So literally when you would just brush your hand against it, it's like brushing your hand against like razors. It was not a good experience. So we did some of that. We kind of got the room prepped for him to move in. So that's gonna be something that's kind of cool that's also changing. And the other thing that's gonna be changing, I've kind of already alluded to, is that I'm gonna be potentially either leaving my job, maybe, or just going part-time at it. So I've had a job for a really long time at the same company and I really do enjoy it. I do like it and stuff too, but honestly, I feel more called to do creative work with like you know, cameras and creating content and stuff. So that's probably more of my passion. And I'm at a point in my time where I can actually start making money with those skills I've made. And I'm really excited to do that. So I don't know, I might be either just dropping a part-time, leaving my company, finding something that suits me better for the time being. I've also had another company reach out to me and offer me a job. So it's just like, it's just so much stuff that's happening all at once. And it's just like, I don't know. I don't know if anyone else has been in this position where there's been so much good stuff that's happened that you're just like overwhelmed by all the good things that are happening. And you're almost in like a bit of disbelief of like, there's no way this is happening right now. Like there's no shot this happens to me. Like there's no way I get this cool opportunity. There's no way that I have these people reach out to me with these opportunities. Like it's just been nuts and it's just been, it's been a blessing, but it's a lot. It is a lot to deal with all at once, right? So like I had this one company approach me, another company approach me, I'm getting a roommate and potentially thinking about like changing around my schedule. Like it's just, it's a lot all at once. And I'm also trying to keep up with my personal brand, right? Because in the end, I think a lot of creators feel this way. In the end, I would like to be able to live and work off of my own personal brand, right? So although it's cool because I get to work with a company that's really based off my skill as an ability, I'm in an opportunity to be able to work with other companies because of my skill as an editor and because of my videography skills and stuff like that, which is not bad. Like I still love doing this stuff. Like I still enjoy it, but at the end of the day, I would like to be able to create my own content and work with companies in that fashion and have them pay me to make my own videos and give my opinion on their videos or even do side gigs here and there, like client gigs for conventions and stuff so I can travel and view the world more and be able to do that while getting paid for it, which is awesome. So that is like my ideal goal, but this is certainly a great step in the right direction. So yeah, it's, it's just a lot. So I guess I just wanted to say, I'm sorry if I've been MIA a little bit when it comes to creating content and releasing videos, but I at least wanted to give you guys an update on like why, and also to just bear with me because, man, I feel like once I get all this stuff figured out, I'm just gonna be like a content creating machine because I'm gonna be creating more content, period, which means I'm gonna be getting better at creating content. And then I'm also gonna be learning new things, which then I can bring into my own personal content, which I'm also gonna learn stuff, my own personal content, be able to bring it into my client work. So it's just like a win-win situation. It's pretty much it. I've just been overwhelmed with really good stuff and taking it in stride. So I also took some time to kind of like process everything, get everything going. And I'm starting to, you know, the roommates almost moved in. So that's almost official, like hundred um, percent. I'm starting to work on projects with this other company. So we're starting to get the ball rolling with that. So everything that has kind of like been suspended in motion or suspended is now in motion. So it's getting a little bit easier and the whole shock of everything is kind of starting to wear off a little bit. I'm still excited, but it's just more of the like, whew, my life's changing at a crazy pace. That's starting to kind of like subside, which is nice. So just want to give you guys a quick video. That's pretty much it. I'm going to be getting back to more of like the regular content, like the unboxings and all this other stuff. I got some cool stuff, man. Like Asu sent me out this sick monitor. It's a portable monitor. I haven't even unboxed it yet. I've had this thing for like a week and I'm going to be using it next week at PAX East. Which reminds me, if you guys are going to PAX East, I'm going to be going there as well too. So you guys should definitely follow my social media. Make sure you guys uh, catch up with me because I'm going to be posting what I'm wearing every day to make sure that if you do see me, you can come say hi. Don't feel weird about it because I would love to be able to meet people. I'm also going to have limited pins for the hug pin. If you guys don't know about the hug cam, go follow my Twitch channel down below. Uh, I really like to be able to give you guys a virtual hug. Not in like a weird way either, like a yeah, so I'll you guys compare the virtual one to the real one if you guys used to meet at Paxi. So I just wanna also say thank you guys so much because without the love and support that everyone's been giving me along this way, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at in this journey. And also a huge thanks to all my close friends that really support me along this way as well too, my family, just because like, yeah, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you guys so much. It's a really cool opportunity. And I'm actually super excited for you guys to find out exactly who it is I get to work with. And that's about it. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. If you guys haven't seen my for short form content, 
I knocked, I knocked over my Squishmallow, which, oh my God, I forgot how nice these things are. Someone bought me a Squishmallow, so thank you very much for that, but God, this is so nice. If you guys haven't seen my short form content, make sure you guys go ahead and you follow my TikTok and my Instagram and all that stuff, or just keep an eye out for my YouTube shorts. And then also too, on top of that, uh, if you guys wanna follow my TikTok, um, my Twitch, or if you wanna join the Discord and talk to me every day, I do talk in there as much as I can throughout the day, just try and keep it, you know, I'm trying to focus on the business as well as be able to focus on talking with people and building the community. But anyways, I appreciate you guys, I love you guys. I gotta go hit this workout. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, stay beautiful. And uh, that shirt looks great on you, by the way. It looks really nice. Did you get that from, where was it? Target? I love Target, I shop there too. All right, I'm gonna get going, guys. I love you. All right, see you later. Mwah, bye.